hey guys i hope you're doing great welcome to another video in this particular video we are gonna learn that how you can convert the drawing file into pdf so we are gonna convert the drawing file into pdf by using various methods and shortcuts so i'm going to discuss the three different methods that you can use to convert the drawing into pdf so if you are someone who are new to our channel, please like and subscribe to our channel for future videos because we are creating the videos related to civil engineering. Okay, so let's get started. We are going to convert this plan into PDF and for that purpose, we are going to use the different settings and keys that we will be using. So first you have to make sure that whichever drawing you are going to convert it should be separate earlier i had the different drawings uh, i had the sections and elevations so i made sure that they are separated and uh, if you only need to print this plan then you have to just focus on this plan and you need to separate all of the sections and elevations to make sure that our window is actually uh, free from other f designs or sections. So right now we are going to only uh, convert this plan into PDF. And here you have to make sure that your, uh, your text is readable and uh, you need to do the color adjustments. If you want to convert this plan into just a uh, black and white plan, then you can also change the color. However, there is also a shortcut key that we will be using as well. So there are different methods. In the first method, we are going to use the uh, shortcut key from your keyboard that is Control P. So you're going to press Control P from your computer and you have this badge uh, plot uh, dialog box and we have the different options. So uh, the first option says you have to learn about the batch plot option. That is not something we are interested in. We are interested in try the batch plot option. Uh, this is only for the multiple drawings, but we want to continue to plot to a single sheet. So we will uh, choose the third option because we are actually going to convert it into a single sheet. So this is the first method and you have to click on the continue to plot on a single sheet and then you will uh, see the dialog box of plot model however there is another option that you can use if you just write the plot on your uh, screen that is P L O T and you are going to see this option here plot so you click it and then you're gonna see the same dialog box here and you can just uh, continue to plot on a single sheet However, if you don't want to use those uh, shortcut keys, there is also another method that is the third method that you can use. If you look at the top left corner here, we have the logo of AutoCAD. And if you click on that here, you have the option of print. So if you look at the print option here, we have the first option which says plot. Plot the drawing to a plotter, printer, or a file. So we are going to choose this one. Uh, so we will continue to plot on a single sheet. So here we have selected to continue to plot on a single sheet and here we have this dialog box. Here we have to do the multiple settings and once we have done the settings, we will be able to convert the whole file into PDF. Now, first of all, uh, you have to choose the appropriate page size or paper size. So we have this dialog box here. You can click on this um, option and you will see the different options where you can uh, choose the drawing size or the paper size. Now the selection of this paper size really depends on the dimensions of your drawings. If your drawings has are long, uh, I mean, if, if its length is greater than width, then you have to uh, choose the dimensions appropriately. For example, if your uh, the the length of your uh, your drawing is uh, thirty or thirty four inches, then and its width is around twenty or maybe uh, ten inches, then you can choose this option: Arc D thirty six cross twenty four inches. However, if you are working in any other uh, units such as millimeters, then you can choose those units from here as well. 
so it doesn't matter you have to just look at the dimensions of your uh, plan and then you can choose the appropriate one so you can choose the different um, options from here i am choosing here the arc e 48 times 36 inches however if you are working in millimeters then you can also choose the different options of millimeters it could be portrait it could be landscape so the selection of the portrait and landscape option is really dependent on the uh, orientation and the dimensions of your drawing so once you have selected this you will see the dimensions of the paper that is 707 millimeters and 500 millimeters so this is basically the paper size that you are going to use while printing uh, or to print this drawing now this is the first setting and after this setting you have to make sure that you have to check this option to fit to the paper because we want to make sure that our drawing is lying exactly at the center of the drawing or the paper so this is the second step or the second setting that you're going to use then you have to make sure that your units are um, uh, appropriate whatever units you're using right now i'm using millimeters so i have selected the millimeters if you have worked in inches then you can choose the inches option from here and then you have to also choose the size of the of the sheet in inches uh, accordingly so once you have selected this option then you have to uh, look at the orientation of your drawing i am going to print it in landscape so i will keep it as landscape however if you want to choose the portrait then it also depends on the orientation and the dimensions of your drawing so i am preferring here the landscape so we have selected the landscape now we are gonna choose the area that we want to print so you have to uh, click on this option and then choose the window because we are going to go to the window and choose our window uh, that we want to print so once you have selected the window then it going it is going to give you the options to specify the corners so we are going to specify the different uh, four corners uh, which has the our plan so we are going to choose these corners and once we have selected you're going to click again and then it is creating the preview so now we have to wait a little bit so we can actually get the preview and before that you have to choose the type of the printer that how you're gonna print so in printer option you have to choose the option that is drawing to pdf because we are gonna convert drawing to pdf uh, so we are gonna choose this one and once you have selected the printer or plotter option then you are gonna see the preview button here so click on the preview and it should show you the preview of your file that you have actually uh, created so this was our file in which we had the uh, plan of the house uh, here you can look at the text uh, you can see this colored text and the furniture here however if you want to uh, create a black and white uh, drawing then you can also use uh, this option so from here if you want to just convert it into black uh, black and white drawing then you have to choose the monochrome option so click on the monochrome option and you will assign these plot styles to the layouts so click on yes and you can just convert everything into the black and white uh, drawing and then if you click again to the preview then you will see that all of the drawings and the furniture uh, walls and all of the components have been converted into the uh, black color or black and white color but i am going to prefer the the same color uh, so i'm going to click on none and then see again and here this is the original color that we used here for furniture and other stuff so once you have made all of the settings then you can click on ok and then you can choose your folder where you're gonna save this file so you can name this file and then hit save so it is converting the file into pdf and here you can see that we have converted this file into pdf now you can also change or choose any other 
a file or or the paper size and also you can adjust the file accordingly so here is our pdf that we needed and uh, you can actually change it or convert it uh, by following these steps so this was the short video in which we discussed that how we can convert the the drawings into pdf uh, if you want to learn more uh, about the drawings and autocad then feel free to uh, comment and let us know that how we can help you so if you have found this video really helpful then please make sure to subscribe our channel uh, for future videos thanks for watching